Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a traditional hot dog, copycat from the Barbecue Pit Boys. Stick around. All right, guys, here's how you want to do it. First, you want to get yourself about a pound of this butter, and you want to just put it right here on your Weber and let that butter come up nice and slow. You don't want to burn it. You just want to gently melt it. So uh, we're going to, that's the first thing we're going to do here. All right, guys, so what we got here is some nice big hot dogs. You know, you want to go out and get yourself some good quality hot dogs. Don't skimp on this. Um, they're only hot dogs and they're not that expensive. So uh, go out and get yourself some nice big ones. And, uh, you know, use the bun of your choice. You know, it's really not a big deal here. Just get some nice buns. Okay, looks like that butter's getting there. Okay, guys, here's something you wanna do. You wanna poke a few holes in there and give it a chance to get that butter in there. So this apparently is the secret, a butter bath. You know, just get them on in there. You're not trying to cook them in here, although they are gonna get warmed up. You just wanna let that butter soak for a while. And it's gonna be good, as they say. There we go. Now, you gotta toast your buns, right? So we're gonna take the same butter. Now, I know the Barbecue Pit Boys used some garlic on theirs, and uh, we're not. We're just gonna use a little bit of this butter that we're already got in here, and we're just gonna put them on here. I don't think it's gonna make that huge of a difference, but uh, hey, it's my choice. And we're just gonna put them on the sides a little bit. Doesn't take a whole lot. Just wanna butter them a little bit and put them on there. Now, the coals you see here, we got just a, one layer of hot coals, okay? You don't want it too hot, um, too intense. You don't want to burn them, you just want to give them a nice little cooking. All right. Mm, God, this is going to be good. Look at this. Okay, you can really already see the butter latching on to them hot dogs. And it's looking really nice. There's only going to be three ingredients on these traditional hot dogs very finely chopped up white or red onion. In this case, I had a red onion, so I diced it up, chopped it up really fine. Now you can put it in one of them little blenders or you can just chop it up really fine if you're good at it, but make sure it's really fine. Some yellow mustard and some, some sweet pickled relish. That's it, those are the three ingredients you need for this hot dog. Okay, let's see if these buns are going. Yeah, these buns are getting there. Okay, don't want to get them too burned, but they're getting pretty good. So I'm just going to set those over to the side. That fire has done its job. Okay, now here's the beauty. Now you just take each hot dog and just put it there on that grill. Again, single layer of coals. Not super hot, you want to cook it kind of slow. And this butter, you're going to see here in a minute, this butter is going to be making a nice little crusty little sizzle on the outside of these hot dogs. It's going to look great. I hope it's going to look great. This is the first time I've tried this recipe. Now really, here's where you want to really mind your temperature. If you got too much coal, you're going to burn that hot dog. It's going to start grilling up on you really fast. You don't want to go really fast because you got butter in there. So really, find that cooler area and kind of stick with it, okay? I've got a little more of a two layers in one spot that's really hot, so I'm kind of pushing the dogs over to the side where I know I only got a single layer of coals. And I'm just gonna keep those hot dogs that are in the butter bath all happy. All right, all right these are looking really good here. See, they're coming up nice and slow. That's 
that's how I want them. Now this butter bath is this butter bath is ingenious here. Basically, you can let them hot dogs kind of warm up in that butter bath, let all that butter soak in, all that goodness. And then when they're ready to get a little char, you just pull them off to the side. Look at that, look how beautiful that is. Oh my God, this is wonderful. Just a beautiful color here. Looks really nice. I'm just gonna cover this up for a minute. All right, guys, that butter bath is just doing a beautiful job. Oh, look at this. I've been really careful keeping these off the really hot spot here. And now that butter starting to get a little too hot. I don't want it super boiling. I don't want it to burn. I just want them hot dogs to be a little warm in there. So I'm gonna pull it off to the side, get it off that hot spot, and just keep watching these dogs. Look at that, that's beautiful. Oh man, you know, that butter is just making a beautiful texture. So I think I'm gonna move them over here a little bit. All right, oh, this looks beautiful. Oh man, now, I like to move these dogs around a little bit, just keep them covered, keep them getting all the love they need. Oh, look at that. Oh, you know, at this point, I'd say they're almost ready to go. It's really a preference here at this point. Man, all right. I think I'm gonna take this off now and check it out. I'll go here with one of these dogs right here. Oh yeah, look at that. Just put that, look at that. Oh my God, maybe I should've got a bigger bun, but that's okay. Is I'm gonna take some of that finely chopped onion and put it in there, look at that. All right, yeah, I'm using my fingers, so what? Okay, now I'm gonna take some of that yellow mustard. There we go. Coup, coup de gras, if that's the right word. Some of that sweet pickled relish. Look at that, guys. That's what you wanna see right there, I hope. <laughs> All right, guys. There we go. Good. Mm. Wow. You know, I'd say that butter is definitely a secret ingredient. Mm. Oh, that's so good. So I think them barbecue bit boys had something going here. They definitely know how to cook a hot dog. really good that that dog's got that nice buttery kind of texture it's hard to describe the buns just slightly buttered grilled that, that's a no-brainer and I'd say restrict yourself to the sweet pickle relish the yellow mustard and the finely chopped onion try it out try one like that it's definitely a nice taste you know it reminds me of like when I was a kid and I went to Little League games and I wanted one of them hot dogs from the Snack Shack. This is almost what it was like. All right, guys. So that's a delicious hot dog. I really like it. But you know what? Why limit yourself? Let's kick it up a notch. We can do everything just the same here, just slightly different. We're gonna take the same toasted bun. And we're gonna put one of them hot dogs in it. Okay, barely fits, I know. Okay, get a little bit of that onion. Maybe more than a little bit, but uh, there we go. Push it in there. Then yellow mustard. All right. Get a little bit of that sweet pickle relish. All right. But here's where we're gonna do it something different. I've got a little chili over here. Chili without beans, it's kind of wet, kind of chunky. There's no beans though, that's all right. There we go. 
That's my kind of chili dog right there. Mm. Oh yeah. All right, here we go. <laughs> there we go. That's kicking it up a notch, fellas. There we go. Oh, that's what it was missing. Well, I guess according to Barbecue Pit Boys, I just turned this into one of them California dogs, I guess. I don't know. Certainly no avocado on it. But man, you can't go wrong with a little bit of chili. Look at that. Mm. Oh. <laughs> it's a little messy. You might want to get a fork and knife. That's all right, right? If you're outside, who cares? You got some good dogs to clean it up? Oh yeah. You might have heard some background noise. We got a brisket on the trigger right here. We're gonna cook up and then take it camping with us. All right, guys, appreciate you stopping by, giving us some of your time, watching one of our little tutorials here. And uh, hope it was entertaining at all. And folks, if you wouldn't mind, please subscribe to our channel. Share this video if you liked it. If you didn't like it, hey, comment down below. What was wrong with it? Also, comment down below how would you do a hot dog? What's your idea of a traditional hot dog? I'd love to hear about it. And be sure to hit us up over on Facebook, Greenhorn Barbecue Beer Discussions Group. Post pictures of your own cooks, because I want to share and I want to see what you guys have. So until then, folks, be safe out there.